Hi, welcome. Um, in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to connect this Alessis 49 MIDI controller keyboard um, to my iMac, I'm sorry, my MacBook um, Air um, to use with uh, GarageBand, the free artist lessons in GarageBand. So, the first step is uh, the physical connection, which is actually uh, totally simple. The Alessis keyboard comes with a cable that's a USB. B to USB A cable, and um, you simply collect the USB B side to the, uh, the to the controller, and the USB A side goes to the MacBook Air. Now that MacBook Air doesn't have a uh, USB A port, so I'm using a USB hub, and um, that has a USB A port, and just connected it that way. And the only other connection I have there is the power. Now you could just use some adapter, which is, this is a USB-A adapter to a USB-C, um, USB-A to USB-C adapter. And um, this works fine also, although this one's a little wide and may not fit while you have the power cable connected. So, okay, so once you have that connected up, of course you have to have your power cord connected also on the keyboard. Um, you start GarageBand. So we start GarageBand up, and this is how we can verify. See, right now we don't have any sound coming out of the keyboard into the, the uh, MacBook. Um, oh, one other thing is I do have a, uh, a TV um, soundbar connected to the, directly to the, um, the MacBook Air's um, audio out jack, so just to get a little better sound. Okay, so you start GarageBand, and uh, if you're over here on New Project, you can Double click empty project and then select this software instrument which allows you to play um, through a USB MIDI device like we're doing here. And just click create and it should come up right away. And if everything's working okay, you should get sound right away. Um, now, um, I'm, I'm not actually using it for this much yet. I'm hoping to do that later. But what I use it for is the um, learning to play because I don't really know how to play keyboards very well <laughs> at all. So um, there's two that I've downloaded. I'm going to bring up um, this artist lesson. Um, if you go to artist lessons, um, you can download these. You can go to the lesson store first and then go to artist lessons and download all these free artist lessons. And um, this is really nice. I, I thought this was great once I started uh, moving back to uh, Apple devices. Um, and um, although I was hoping that it was also available on iPads and iPhones and, and the artist lessons are, aren't available there. They're only available um, with, the, with the, the Mac OS uh, devices. So, um, so I, I've already got two downloaded. Um, I'll bring up Brick and it comes up, looks like this now. Um, and it comes up with its own sound. Um, which happens to be, I believe, a, a, just a regular piano. Now you can, I don't know if you can see it, you can bring a uh, setup up here in the right corner, uh, upper right corner, um, and then and then open your garage brand uh, preferences. And you should see, um, if, you, if you click the um, audio MIDI um, tab there, then you should see in the MIDI section, uh, uh, MIDI inputs detected. This says two MIDI inputs detected. I'm not sure why there's two with this. Um, that may be for one in and out. Um, and if you don't see that, then you'll need to fix that first before you can continue on. So uh, once you have that done, we've got our setup done. Um, this is this is a, a brick, and if you um, start it, let's see here. It comes with. Um, a learn section, a play section, and a story section. I thought the story section was really interesting because it gives you a background on how uh, the artist came up with this with this song, uh, what, what maybe what his motivation was, uh, how long it took him to, to do it, etc. Um, and that, that I found really interesting. So um, if you start with learn and you just click play, um, you'll get, let's see, it should just start playing here. There we go. You get the artist actually walking out and sits down and in this case this is uh hey i'm ben and i'm going to show you how to play my song brick and this is ben from ben's fold five um and uh, this song i just I, i've, I've liked this as a 90s song and I, i've always liked this song so um it shows you 
uh, he'll explain exactly how to play it. A lot of times they'll have um, like a beginning type of version you can learn and then an advanced version. Version In this case, I think there's just one version. Um, and then, so he'll go along. It's all right. Thumbs on A. And, and, uh, and just teach you how to play it. Um, and in this, that's in the learn section, and it'll go through the different sections of the songs, the intro, in this case, verse, chorus, bridge, uh, and the last verse and chorus. Now the play um, section allows you to play it yourself, or actually it'll play it, it'll have him play it um, all the way through uh, without teaching. And uh, like I said, the story tells you the background behind uh, this particular uh, song. So, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. Thanks.